Previously on Transformers Prime. Simply put, this combination of elements could allow us to cyberform entire worlds. Then we will focus upon the successful reconstruction of the Omega Lock. Prime, it's cons again. In progress this time. Ratchet, we will be returning with a Decepticon prisoner. Why is Megatron stealing human technology? What is he attempting to build? Knockout first procured this unfinished shamble from the Autobot Medic. The most efficient means to an end may be to recruit that Medic. It took a cataclysm to extinguish Cybertron's original Predacon inhabitants. You never stood a chance against me, Prime. In fact, the time has come for your extinction. in our progress, Chief. Granted. for a one-handed Autobot. I'll take one bum hand over one good eye any day. Stand down, Predacon. I am Predacon King, and I will never bow to your kind. Objective secured. Now might be a fine time for surrender. A logical assumption, were it not for.
Ratchet, we require immediate transport back to base. Huh? Stewardess, there's a man on the wing of this plane. Ratchet, do you read? <sighs> I see. Bulkhead, is everything all right? Where is Ratchet? He's... he's gone. What do you want from me? Your assistance, actually. To help complete a little science project. I will never cooperate. Shockwave does not require your cooperation to siphon your knowledge, Doctor. Peeled some paint off laser beak. But if I were a better shot, Ratchet would still be here. Chin up, soldier. We've combed the entire floor. For the moment, that remains our only clue. Nothing in the ground bridge log. If they bridged Ratchet out of here, they used theirs, not ours. Why take Ratchet prisoner, but leave these two behind? If Megatron intends to hold our medic hostage, I find it curious that he's made no demands. It would stand to reason that Ratchet must possess something the Decepticons want. Well, whatever the cons are after, Ratch won't give it up. Right? Lord Megatron, I understand that you have brought an accursed Autobot aboard this warship. Indeed. Then I will accomplish with him what I failed to with the Prime. Predaking, this Autobot is more than a prisoner. You do wish for Cybertron's restoration, do you not? Our captive's usefulness will come to an end. And when that time arrives, I assure you, he will be all yours. Listen, I need 24-7 satellite monitoring. Eyes on the skies and ears to the ground. Maybe Buckethead's after the techno babble. The synth -en formula? Why would the cons need the artificial stuff if they already control most of this planet's energon reserves? Greed, what else? If Megatron is truly rebuilding the Omega Lock, as Ratchet surmised, synthetic energon might be a necessary component. I hate to be the one to bring lightning to a thunderstorm, but there's one thing we're all ignoring. If the cons found Ratchet here, they know the location of this base. What did the cortical psychic patch yield? Only confirmation that the synthetic energon formula is unstable and that the Autobot medic's work on it remains incomplete. Then it seems we must help Ratchet finish his work. Are you through poking around inside my head? You didn't find what you wanted, did you? Or else you wouldn't be here. What I want apparently does not yet exist. And that would be? We would very much like for you to complete your work on the formula for synthetic energon. Even if I were capable, do you think that I would hand you a limitless supply of fuel and ammunition just so you can turn around and use it against the Autobots? Oh, you misunderstand, dearest Ratchet. I intend to use your formula for the purpose of creation, not destruction. We have fortuitously discovered that your synth in, when combined with cybernucleic acid, may in fact form the basis for an alternative cyber matter. You are attempting to rebuild the Omega Lock. We stand on the verge of a great moment in time, you and I. The restoration of our very home world. Collaborate with the barbarian who essentially destroyed our planet in the first place. 
who sadistically crushed Bumblebee's voice box while looking him in the eye. No, thank you. Then I present you with a choice. Complete your research, or... <laughs> humans, always the weak link. Are these humans supposed to mean something to me? If not, I am certain this will. As you must certainly be aware, we know the location of your current base. Accept my offer, and I will allow your fellow Autobots and human pets to remain unharmed. Think it over, good doctor. My liege, you aren't really going to allow the Autobots to remain operational. Of course not. Assemble your armada, Starscream, and decimate their base once again. <sighs> All Ariel's search patterns are coming up empty. No comlink chatter either. And no ground activity. It's a little too quiet out there. Since the Decepticons no longer seek Predacon bones or Earth technology, there is no activity to track. So until Megatron makes a move, we're in a holding pattern. Ratchet didn't think this new hand he built for me was good enough. But I'll tell you what truly isn't good enough. Giving up. We have no choice but to play this old school. Split into teams for maximum coverage. We have incoming a whole fleet's work. your fire on Hangar E. Air cover is holding for the moment. Megatron, I am pleased to report that the Autobot base has been reduced to ashes. The mess hall sure is a mess. We are fortunate the Decepticons can be fooled by a simple paint job. I'm sure you would more fully appreciate a tour of our facilities if you were comfortable. How do you know I won't use these to amputate? And pass up a chance to see our molecular masking field? Your cloaking device. <laughs> shielding is shielding. High tech or low. Perhaps you'll be more impressed by our Energon transfusion capacitor. It allows us to maximize our consumption a thousandfold. Decepticon engineering never fails to impress. Doctor, we may be mortal enemies, but Autobots and Decepticons do share one common goal. You would like to see the ruins of our devastated homeworld restored to their former brilliance. As would I.
Megatron, you would just try to conquer Cybertron all over again and enslave anyone who refuses to pledge allegiance to you. Of course I would. And your comrades would attempt to stop me as ever. But at least we would once again possess a planet worth fighting over. Perhaps. But you wouldn't stop there, would you? Earth would be next, if not first. What assurance do I have that you would leave humankind be? And that you wouldn't instantly terminate me once you get what you need? None whatsoever. After all, we both know that as a Decepticon, any assurances I might offer would be worthless. But that does not change the fact that you may be Cybertron's only hope of ever seeing life again. So the kid clipped the business end of Laserbeak's transponder. You're not such a bad shot after all. We thought you might be the best one to provide an analysis. In Ratchet's absence. It's trying to communicate with the warship. How do you know? It's telling us. Uh, Raph, that's Cybertronian code. Wait, first Raph understands Bumblebee, now he reads Cybertronian? Are we sure he's not some kind of alien? I've been learning for a while. In between stuff, when Ratchet had time to teach me. Hey, Raph, we'll bring him back. If it's the last thing we do. If it's talking to its mama, can we triangulate the signal? To a shielded warship. If the transponder were still attached to Laserbeak, we could follow it. Maybe we should give it wings. We can use spare parts from the machine shop. Then let's do it. For the dock. While your forces have put a dent in our resources, Shockwave has been invaluable in updating our laboratory. Should you choose to accept the task, you shall have unrestricted access to our equipment. Is that a quantum cryo-inducer? Only two were ever made. Three, actually. You are holding the original prototype. The frequency modulator keeps shorting out. Easy, champ. Let me try uncrossing some wires. Now there's something you don't see every day. Jackie wasn't always a loner, you know. Being a wrecker was all about the team. Yep, bip, bip, bip. Nico, I needed that. I was just trying to tighten up that thingamajig. Pfft, police. Agent Fowler, everything all right? Just preoccupied, thinking about the close calls we humans have had with the cons lately. Smacked down by sound wave, stuck in knockout's trunk with your mom. Moving on. The uncomfortable reality is, the bots might not always be here. And even if they are, they can't be everywhere at once, as we've learned. This armor is the only thing that stood between Miko and that Predacon, the reason she came back without a scratch. Cybertech like that could be just what we need to give our agents on the front lines a fighting chance. Agents like? Maybe you someday. What? You'll be of age soon. And your prime material, son. Your mom thought you might be a good fit, seeing as you've been wishy-washy about future plans. Wait, you've been talking to my mom about me? Custer's Mustang! Sorry, Agent Fowler. I think I need to change my Star Spangled shorts. I'm still fine-tuning Chip's remote. Chip? So we're gonna let this doohickey fly back to Con Central and lead us right to Ratchet. Even if you manage to reconstruct the Omega Lock, it is a mystic force. I've come to my senses. The notion of scientifically replicating its capability is pure folly. Madness, even. But how will we ever know for certain, Doctor? If we do not try. And how can we not try when the 
means finally lie within our reach. Decepticon Engineering. It will not take long for this Omegalot strives to be fully operational. All that is still needed to restore our home is the cyber matter to launch through it. Which requires a stabilized formula for the production of synthetic energy. I have every confidence in you, Doctor. I'll do it. But then you already knew that, didn't you?